Hey, Rockford Jake here. Today I'm joined by Aaron from Hidden Creek Estates. How's it going, Aaron? It's going pretty good. How are you doing, Jake? Doing fantastic. Thank you. So tell me a little bit about like what Hidden Creek Estates is before we go on the official tour. Yeah. And also, what was the inspiration for starting it? Yeah, of course. So Hidden Creek Estates is a wedding venue and slash wine bar uh, looking towards the future. But it was just kind of a fluke thing, really, that happened. Uh, you know, with COVID and everything, there's tons of huge demand for outdoor venues. And we actually acquired this property in May. It's 36 acres. And my aunt got married here. My sister got married here. And then we did two other weddings just by happenstance that got canceled, unfortunately, um, for family friends. And so it just kind of happened. We all looked around at each other. <laughs> right. Like, yeah, we were like, you know, maybe we could do this. So yeah. yeah, that's just kind of how it happened. It all flowed nicely. And now We've opened up dates for 21, 2021 and 2022, and we have 21 weddings coming up this summer. So Holy we cow. Are, yeah, we, we kind of took off a lot faster than we thought. But yeah, come on in. Um, yeah, so we are currently in a house. Yes, we are in a house. So this house is attached to the property, um, and it was really well taken care of when we got it. We just then furnished the place with a bunch of furniture from estate sales all around the Rockford area. Uh, this arm wire we actually carry down a spiral staircase on National Avenue. That was a lot of fun. <laughs> we all are familiar with that. Um, but yeah, so we, we just like to provide an experience for our brides and just have a place where you can have, have it all in one spot instead of worrying about checking into hotel rooms and where am I gonna get my hair and makeup done and all that kind of thing. Uh, so this is actually the bridal get ready room right here uh, with some nice vintage furniture. And this is where obviously the bride gets ready. She does her hair, she does her makeup. You get some great photos. Um, and then if you follow me this way, we have a couple bedrooms here. So this is the master suite here. Yep. Um, provided by uh, estate sales in Rockford. Uh, <laughs> Some use estate sales mostly. Uh, but then we go this way and we have a nice bathroom, walk-in closet. And the best thing about a walk-in closet is, you know, uh, grooms aren't always the best at keeping their clothes wrinkle-free. So it's nice to just hang everything <laughs> on the deck of the floor. Yeah, and just not have to worry about it. Um, and so you guys are running uh, weddings throughout the weekends in the summer, um, but the space is also available for Airbnb yes. for other for other dates that are available where you don't yes. have the weddings going. That is correct. So we are currently um, renting, leasing the space as an Airbnb right now. We actually have some guests coming in in a couple of days. Uh, so if you ever just want a little getaway, but you want to be able to stay close to home, or if you are far away from home and you just want to get away, uh, this is a beautiful place. We have walking trails. Uh, three miles of walking trails back in the woods. You're welcome to use whatever you'd like on the property. And then we also have a bunch of other experiences. I'll walk you through a wine tasting. Uh, I'm studying to be a sommelier. And then we can get a private chef in here. We can have meal plans for you. Uh, just like a ton of stuff, scavenger hunts if you have kids. Uh, so there's really a lot of options. Like I said, you know, we want it to be an experience rather than just like a I'm going to go stay in this random person's house for three days. <laughs> right. Um, and then, yeah, we have just another bedroom here. Very cool. And then I can take you out towards the wedding venue side of things. Yeah. But wait, there's more. There is more. It's never <laughs> ending. So this right now, we're just using a storage space. We have a lot of construction, so hang out, hang with me. Uh, we'll, we'll be giving you updates come summertime when everything's done. But this is going to be our catering kitchen. Right now, we're just using it as storage for all of our wedding decor. We have uh, a beautiful fireplace around that's going to be going into the wine bar. And then we also have this really, really nice uh, 1862 cast iron fireplace that we drove all the way to Milwaukee to get. And trust me, it was not fun loading that in the car. <laughs> And then we kind of come around this way and then this is going to be sort of the wedding venue itself right here um, and mostly the wine bar as well. So kind of follow me along the path this way. You can kind of see all the open acreage and land we have here um, available just to spread out your guests. You know, obviously we want to social distance and be responsible, um, but also just have a place, a nice open air place where everybody can sit down, relax and enjoy. Uh, there's a half acre pond out there. You can't see it because it's, covered. <laughs> it's, it's buried under it's snow right buried now. under a ton of snow right now. Um, but yeah, you can see here we have the deck going up right now. Um, so this will be done by May 1st. That's our, that's our day. Nice. So coming up here real quick, yeah, coming up real quick. And then walking in here, so as you can see, like I said, lots of construction. 
Uh, but this is where we are going to have a speakeasy uh, wine bar down here. So we're going to paint the walls black. We uh, The cast iron fireplace is going to go in here with a little bit of marble to fill in there as well. And then we're just going to fill the place with velvet furniture, couches, and leather chairs, um, and just like a ton of seating and stuff like that. We're going to have the bar over here, and then the bathroom's over there. We're really excited, you know, to just be able to have people out for a glass of wine on a Thursday, maybe invite some bands out. Um, and Do just, some food trucks. Yeah, food and, trucks yeah. And just relax and enjoy a, a beautiful night out on the property. Uh, just, just a nice place, some nice ambiance, a little peace. Feels like you're out in the middle of nowhere, but you really are. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. We used to have horse stalls here too, um, which we took all the wood and we're making tables and chairs out of. We're trying to really keep and maintain the history that was a part of this property. Yeah. So we're really excited to see how everything finishes up. It's been a super fun journey for us to, to see it from start to finish. You know, a lot of this wasn't here. Um, so that's that's really cool. Yeah, that is super cool. And I think it's really neat how you guys are taking a lot of stuff um, from around Rockford and repurposing it, whether it's the horse stable wood from the barn or just like you said, hitting up estate sales to acquire all the furnishings and fireplaces and all the little pieces that kind of go into a project like this. Yeah, and that was really our goal too, is we, we wanted to bring something for the community that wasn't just like a plant, you know, we wanted to take stuff from around the community and really surround ourselves with with the characters of what we've been in our past and you know what we're continuing to grow and become and we just thought it was a really cool way to do that yeah absolutely so coming up in here then we have the barn so this barn looks a lot different for me because i haven't seen the inside yet <laughs> uh, we just got all this vintage uh these vintage windows in this door actually from 1876 uh it was this old church door that we drove down to peoria and grabbed um, so there, these walls used to be all closed off. There was no natural light in here. And as you can see now, like this place is just absolutely glowing. Yeah. So there's still a lot of work to be done. Super here. tall ceilings. Ooh, yeah. what? That's oh, chandelier. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. So <laughs> I didn't notice that earlier. <laughs> yeah, it is kind of cool. It actually lights up too. Um, but yeah, we have a ton of stuff going on in here. Um, and then you can kind of see even here, like we have tables that were just left over that we use for gift tables and all that kind of stuff, just to keep the character of what this what this place used to be and you know what what it is now and then yeah. you can kind of look out here as well um you can see a little bit more of the deck but this deck actually extends 20 feet out that way too okay so there's plenty of seating up here the barn's capacity is about 150 people with the wow. deck and the upstairs here yeah so just there's just so much so much here uh, a lot of a lot of cool spaces and then really when you're here in the summer you can't really tell now but when you look out onto the pond and those are your views, you really feel like you're in a gigantic tree house. It's super, super cool. And we're really excited to be able to bring this to the community and share everything with you guys. Yeah, it's all sounds really, really amazing. You said a lot of this stuff is gonna be coming online here this spring, um, yep. early summer. Yep. So where can people go to follow you and keep in touch and reach out if they're interested in either booking a wedding or the Airbnb or you know just staying up to date with when the wine bar and the events course, start happening? Of course, definitely. So we are on Instagram and Facebook at HiddenCRK. Um, that is our handle. And then we are also online at hiddencrk.com. So if you want to see more pictures or you want to reach out, you can either message us on there. We also have contact information too. If you want to book stuff, uh, you can go directly through us. It saves you a little bit of money um, swinging around the Airbnb cost. There. <laughs> yeah. uh, and then also we can let you know if it's available and we can book some really cool experiences for you. Um, and really make this an unforgettable uh, experience for not only you, but everybody that you're with too and everybody that you invite out. So awesome. Yeah, well, really thanks really so much, uh, Aaron, for the tour. The space looks amazing. I can't wait to see it here in a few months when all the construction is done and everything's put together. Um, but thank you, Rockford, for tuning in. Big shout out to all of our business sponsors and our backers that make content like this possible. It's because of their support. I'm able to meet with people like Aaron and give you tours of brand new places coming online here in the greater Rockford region. So thanks so much to them. And we'll see you you on the flip side. Cheers. Bye, Rockford.